Church members and security teams from all over Tennessee gathered at Westwood Baptist in Cleveland to learn the latest in training and safety techniques to keep their places of worship safe. Our Meredith Aldis joins us, tells us why Lou's leaders say it's important for them to be prepared. Meredith. Greg, people go to church to worship, not to worry about safety. So organizers say a security team or a trained group can help churchgoers continue to do just that. Never had a church member or anyone come up to me and say, you know, I think our church is too safe. In the last five years, there have been about 30 shootings in the U.S. with four or more people who died. We have an obligation to try to protect our people, our flock, the people who come here to worship, the congregation, the staff. Agape Tactical teaches faith-based organization leaders a security plan to take back to their church and teach their team. Not changing the culture, the loving, warming environment of a church, but yet you still have a good, safe environment. 26-year career police officer Ken Alexandro says there are some key things the safety team should know to help keep everyone safe. One, deal with the problem outside and don't let the bad inside. Two, talk to people because it can throw them off. Three, if the person is allowed inside, have them sit in a specific seat or area with a security team member beside or directly behind them. And four, training is key. Churches recognize the need to do this and have teams that are trained, really well trained, not just a couple of guys running around with guns. Alexandro says it's a ministry and to be part of this is serving. We do this for the children. Any adult has the right to go get a carry permit or, or buy a firearm or take a class and get trained. But our children do not have that option. We have information on how to schedule a training for your church inside the WRCB app. Reporting live in the studio, Meredith Aldish, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.